Hi friends, so this video is about enterprise security in Splunk. So first of all, uh, cyber security or, or information security or computer security is the protection of computer system and network from the theft or, of or damage to their hardware, software, electronic data as well as from the disruption of misdirection of the services they provide. So these days, the security is very crucial or important for, for any of the organization. Like it can, if uh, there, there is no proper security in system, so it can, can harm uh, the, uh, the company's reputation or, or it can uh, spoil the image of uh, uh, computer or can, can uh, destroy uh, uh, all the company uh, by stealing the data you can you can see there are many uh, cyber uh, hacking cases are there where where they ask for the ransom amount and and so on so there are many cases are there so let's begin with the with how uh, splunk uh, provide or or uh, detect or, or detect uh, it organization so what is Splunk uh, uh, Enterprise Security? So, the Splunk Enterprise Security is a premium solution of Splunk. So, premium solution that means you need to pay extra extra uh, charges for this. So, you need to check with the uh, Splunk team uh, uh, to get the the license for uh, Enterprise Security. So, uh, also you need to keep in mind that. Uh, that the enterprise security leverages the Splunk core uh, functionality, like it uses Splunk base searches, Splunk searches, or Splunk dashboards, or Splunk alerts. So, so it leverages on on the core Splunk technologies. So, if you do not know about Splunk, so please go ahead and watch my uh, videos. Or if you are new to that, so try to learn from my videos. So, let's uh, start with the definition of. Uh, uh, enterprise security so we call it as uh, es so enterprise security is a premium app for the splunk platform that addresses sim use cases by providing insight into machine data from security sources so there are n number of security sources are there so splunk gets the data core splunk, splunk gets the data from uh, those security sources and and uh, there um, there are pre-built use cases are there in uh, ES enterprise uh, Splunk enterprise security so you can apply uh, those use cases on on that machine data and and identify any threat or any any uh, malicious activities is there on the system so the app include prepackaged dashboard so it has a dashboard correlations and incident response workflow to help security team and an analyze the response to their network and point access malware uh, vulnerability and identify uh, identity information so these all thing enterprise security can provide uh, so before that we sh you should have uh, sufficient data in your environment okay so next thing is enterprise security is the nerve center of security ecosystem giving teams the insight to quickly detect and respond to internal and external attack okay there can be attacks can be internal or external so uh, it can provide you insight from your data okay uh, simplify threat management minimize uh, management and minimize the minimizing risk okay by doing so you can minimize the risk so if any vulnerability or any any malicious activity is there so you need to minimize that you need to uh, quickly identify that to minimize the risk otherwise it will be uh, very huge impact on your organization so es helps team gain organizational wide visibility and security intelligence uh, for continue continuous monitoring incident response SOC operation and providing executive executives uh, windows into business risk. So this is a typical definition of uh, enterprise security uh, in Splunk. 
so uh, in short the splunk is a premium solution like other app like uh, there there is uh, one more enterprise solution is uh, premium app is there that is called uh, itsi it is similar to that the, the functionality is little bit similar but uh, here we we mainly focus on the security incidents so let's let's try to understand the mechanism of uh, of it how it works okay so you have your security uh, sources security sources like bit defender endpoints and bit defender can provide you uh, many uh, input uh, endpoints endpoint like uh, one's laptop or computer or that can give you all the activities happening in in the in, in that particular system ldap ldap can provide you authentication details or like uh, in the organization so these days uh, many of the of the applications are integrated with ldap so uh, it can get the data from the ldap firepower so fire uh, firepower is uh, one of the uh, uh, it will provide you network network details uh, WAF uh, and that is one more security source then again again there can be a network devices so n number of sources are there so from there we, we will get the data in in Splunk this is a core Splunk so data can can directly come to forwarder or can directly go to indexer and now the data is there in your environment the core splunk environment on the search it that can be searchable and we install security and, and, and splunk enterprise security premium app on top of search it search it can be in cluster or single uh, single search it so you you need to install or, or you need to contact with the uh, splunk ps to get the license and you can install it on here on the search head so once you install it what you can do is you can simply it's it, it's kind of a app so you can simply uh, run your searches on enterprise security uh, make your own use ca use cases so uh, for making use cases you need to know the basic uh, uh, spl uh, spl uh, skills like you need to uh, write sql searches spl searches so it's similar to sql uh, so first you need to uh, understand uh, those terminology and then uh, after that once you create your own use case uh, what you get after uh, once you, you you do do that you will get the incident review so, uh, once you you have created suppose you have created a use case uh, for uh, like uh, number of attempts has been failed for a particular uh, time so that means somebody is trying to get your your access or, or user they, they, they are trying to uh, get the password of that particular user so so in incident review you can see a event popping up for for uh, that particular incident that that somebody is trying to uh, uh access your system um, and, and 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 it's like uh, trying and trying and keep failing so so that kind of incident you can that 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 is called brute force attack so they're trying to uh, identify your your username and password so th these kind of uh, um, details you can you can find it in incident review so all the incident uh, incident which is happening in your system in, will come over here okay so there are multiple things are there so this is one of the dashboard the next one is asset investigation so you you can go to asset investigation this is one more feature of it and uh, you can uh, go to asset by asset like uh, what is the risk of that asset how risky is that that asset is like uh, everything is uh, aligned like it is it up to date or some other uh, uh, patches is required or something is, else is there so so you can have a look on on that okay asset investigator so next one is threat artifacts then this is also one of the our uh, dashboard mm, so third threat artifacts like what all threat artifacts from where you can get the threat threat intelligence data like 
there, there, there are n number of uh, threat intelligence data is available on the internet so you need to configure and put it in your system that that like from this sources uh, uh, the data is coming coming so that is something you need to worry about so the next one is uh, malware operations like it will give you a fancy chart so over, over there so you can uh, go and have a look on your system how it is performing like is there any any uh, a malware or anything is there so these are some few charts are there so there are a lot of uh, uh, graphs are there uh, user activity or some other uh, other uh, things are there so the uh, so n number of things you can do with uh, with this and provided you should have sufficient data and you you need to write a uh, uh, a correlation query that can trigger uh, alerts the so security alerts like uh, for login failure you need to write from the from from the LDAP uh, logs you can get the data and you uh, how many how many failure attempts are there for for a certain period of time so you can get uh, who is trying to access uh, uh, the system or, or the users user detail so like like you can uh, identify any any vulnerable things is happening in your system so there are um, few other details few other uh, dashboards are there like uh, this is one of the dashboard uh, where you can see the details of your uh, SSL uh, sessions like uh, these many this this SSL active by by com name SSL cloud session recent SSL sessions so these all details you can get uh, this is one of the uh, fancy dashboard where you can see the risk uh, risk in your system uh, how uh, which system is uh, very risky and you can see a risk score so generally when you create a, a correlation searches uh, you need to uh, define a risk as well so it will automatically calculate the risk and accordingly it will act and uh, fire an alert okay so so uh, by default there are n number of use cases are there like around uh, hundreds of use cases are are there uh, those are not by default uh, enable so you need to get the data according to that use cases and, and enable enable those use cases before that you need to analyze your data so i can i will i am going to create uh, a, a video about about those process in detail in my uh, upcoming videos so for for this for now, uh, like say th there is one more uh, dashboards are there, uh, dashboard is there incident review audit so it will give you all the incident happen in your environment like uh, you can uh, see over here so like like that there are n number of uh, uh, things are there in enterprise security so uh, I will. Uh, uh, create a video one by one on, on that and, and try to make uh, uh, the learning as simple as possible as simple as possible and uh, uh, for now uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, have a nice day thank you